welcome to Darkness. <laughs> to the studio tonight, I bumped into an old friend. Well, nothing really strange about that, except that he's been dead for several years. <laughs> Reminds me of a song. The last time I saw Harry, his skin was gray and green. But enough of this entertainment. You've got problems of your own. But you don't know about that, do you? Well, he's very angry with you. He's decided to do it. Be careful, especially if you're walking to your car alone or riding in an elevator. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. <laughs> study in charm called Catch Kill. It's about two elderly sisters who run an antique shop in their home. Unfortunately, their once refined neighborhood has changed quite a bit. Poor dears, they're perfect targets for... But you'll see. <laughs> Anybody here? Uh, Miss Agnes? Miss Josephine? Coming! Coming! Ah, afternoon, Miss Agnes. Oh, Officer Lyons. What a pleasant surprise. Who oh, is it, Agnes? Well, it's that nice patrolman. Come to pay us a visit. Oh, yes. Oh, the new one on the beat. And so handsome. <laughs> ah, Miss Josephine. Can you stay for tea? Uh, I've made some apple turnovers. Uh, maybe some coffee? Oh, yes, do stay. It's so cold out. I don't know how you can stand this weather. Well, thank you kindly. Uh, but I only stopped by to see that you were safe. Oh, isn't that considerate? Yes. Officer Kenyon did the same thing. Poor dear. Oh, that's all right, Joe. I'll never get over it. Shot him. Just like that. What's this world coming to? Oh, please. Be cautious, Officer Lyons. Oh, I can take care of myself. And that's the two of you that need protection. Oh, rubbish. Oh, we've never had a speck of trouble here. Not in 50. Two years. Fifty-one, dear. Fifty-two. Father built the house in twenty-seven, but we didn't move in until twenty-eight. Yes, but I'm still correct. You are. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, please make sure all the doors and windows are secured. Uh, you don't want any unexpected guests. Well, why would anyone want to harm either of us? Well, I don't know. But them gold watches in the front window, well, they can attract the wrong element. If we don't display them, how can we get customers? I may be stepping out of line, but... Ladies, this neighborhood isn't the same as it was. We don't have your kind of genteel society anymore. These days, it's full of junkies and thugs. We know. And I'm sure you could sell this house and move to a nicer neighborhood. You sound just like our niece, always telling us to move. But well, we're not. We like it here. I'm not going into a rest home. And neither am I. We fully intend to stay. And we'll thank you not to meddle in our affairs. Well, I, I didn't mean to. Uh... You think we're two doddering old ladies? Unable to take care of themselves. Well, we're certainly not. Oh, dear. I have a headache. Oh, not Joe. <laughs> I, I would never move. Now, you see, you've upset her. I, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Well, indeed, you should. Now, now you'd better go. Uh, yes, ma'am. I don't like 
like him anymore. Neither do I. Nick, to be telling us what to eat. Oh, police are so meddlesome today. Always interfering. Well, we'll go on about our business like, like nothing happened. Of course. Aggie. Yes, dear? Can I feed the fish next time? Isn't it your turn anyway? No. I'll trade with you. You can make the cherry cobbler. All right. Oh, goody. I need something about feeding you. Well, I enjoy it. You're such a good sister. Oh, you fiddlesticks. You always could twist me around your little fingers. Aggie, when can I do it? Not as soon as the opportunity presents itself. Now don't stand around lollygagging. There's work to be done. Change the display in the window. Oh, yes. I'll put out the gold coins. Right. Oh, there's such an eye catcher. I'm sure someone will stop. My, my. Hello? Hello, Aunt Aggie? Oh, Carol. How are you, dear? Fine. Is everything all right? Never better. You sure? Oh, yes. Joe and I are just going to rearrange the window display. Did Mr. Newark call? Who? Mr. Newmark, the real estate agent. Oh, yes. Did you make an appointment? Why should we? Because he has a client interested in your property. I'm certain of that. Aunt Aggie, I don't mean to meddle, but... But you are, dear. Now, Sister and I are not selling. Just talk to him. Carol, I know you mean well, but we are quite firm. It's not the money. It's your safety. Is it starting again? Uh, uh, just a moment, dear. I'll handle it. Give me the phone. Now, don't, don't, don't be rude. Carol? Dear, uh, we've told you before we're not leaving this house and going into some old lady's home. Please cease this discussion. If you wish. That's better. Come see us for tea. I'll try. Anytime this week, dear. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm glad you weren't impolite. Once a lady, always a lady. Customer Joe. Pity sakes, we'll never have tea. I'll get it. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Uh, hiya. How you doing? I noticed the stuff in the window. Uh, let me look at them watches, huh? Oh, of course. Uh, which one? Oh, the big one. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, it's a beauty. Belonged to my father. Nice. Solid gold case? Naturally. All our watches are gold. How much? $350. Uh-huh. And uh, the small one? $450. That's a lot of bread. Pardon? Uh, very expensive. Oh, not really. There are real rubies on this cover, and I don't think it's overpriced. Maybe. Uh, you run this shop alone? No, with my sister. Uh-huh. Perhaps I could show you something more moderate. This one with the sapphire is appraised at $350, but I can let it go for $200. Oh, it looks pretty good. Um, I saw some coins, uh, looked interesting. They gold, too? Oh, yes. Well, let me see some. Uh, I'm looking for uh, a gift. Oh, how thoughtful. Let me get them. Oh, here we are. Nice. Uh, just the two of you run this shop? Yes. Joe and I have lived alone for years. No pets? Oh, no. We're allergic to animals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I can't choose. I like everything here. Oh, well, you know, so many people say that. Mm, so I think I'm going to take the whole lot. <gasps> don't move, lady. Oh, oh, d d don't shoot. Smart. Get your sister. Oh, uh, d d Joe. D Josephine. Oh, would you come out here, please? What is it? Oh, oh, my. Do as I say, or else. Oh, yes, yes. Get a bag. Start putting the stuff in it. Move! Even the coins we have in the pantry, Josephine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, them too. Oh, no. We all go in together. I ain't falling for that one. You shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. Where you got them? Oh, please, don't hurt us. Just give me the coins, eh? Oh, Aggie, do something. Uh, let's have the money. Here, in this box. Give it. If you insist. Uh, uh, my eyes, my eyes. Oh, my face is on fire. Get his pistol. Uh, I have uh, it. Oh, what'd you do? My eyes. Give him a damn towel, Joe. Uh, Isn't that camera go spray marvel? Oh, yes. I love the name. Nay. It sounds so fine. Oh, my eyes. I may go blind. Too bad. Look, I didn't mean any harm. Fiddlesticks. You would have robbed us and maybe killed us. And you're going to get what you deserve. Hey, don't call the cops. 
I'm a two-time loser. This trip could be for good. Oh, we never call the police. Huh? Josephine and I dispense justice right here. Precisely. Now, uh, let me think. Assault with a deadly weapon, grand theft, and rudeness. That's plenty. Look, don't point that at me, huh? Oh, I wouldn't shoot you. Not yet. How do you plead? Guilty? Uh, yeah, I guess. Therefore, you must pay the penalty. Down those steps. What? Do as she says. Down the cellar. No, listen, uh, can't we talk this over? Move. I know how to use this. Okay, okay. This way, young man. What the hell is that? A pond where Joe keeps the fish. Get in, please. Are you crazy? Get in. It's only up to your waist. Uh, no way. I said get in. Hey, yeah, yeah. Don't point that. Sure, sure, I'll, I'll get in. Jeez. Now what? Just wait. Hey, oh, hey, something bit me. Jeez, 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 oh no. They're eating me alive. Oh, ah, oh, oh. Weren't they hungry? Oh, yes. You know, we didn't even ask his name. Well, well maybe we'll, we'll find a wallet when we clean out the pot. Oh, yes. <laughs> like we did with the others. You remember that Arthur Bedford? Oh, wasn't he a horror? Oh, he pushed you against the brake front. I still have the bruise. Oh, look. The piranha are gnawing at his head. They love brains. So full of protein. Well, show's over. <sighs> All too soon. I wish they wouldn't eat so fast. Shall we have tea? Yes. And it's my turn to pour. are no shrinking violets, are they? Feed the fish, indeed. Well, time for a commercial message. Don't go away. On second thought, why not slip into the kitchen for a bite? <laughs> the Markham girls have cooked up for her. <laughs> Another petty four, dear? No, thank you, Aunt Jo. I know you don't want to discuss this. Well, then uh, let's not. We haven't had a peaceful tea in days. Customers arrive at the worst time. But just the other day, this nice man wanted to take almost everything. But we wouldn't come down on the price. And? He left us. You haven't sold anything in months. Nine months and 17 days, to be exact. This isn't the kind of neighborhood to... At Joe, watches and coins only attract thieves. We've never been robbed. Yes, I can't understand that. Aunt Aggie, I, w I would like you to consider... Absolutely not. We were raised here, and we shall pass on from here. Father said we should never sell our home. Precisely. Things have changed. It's not the same. Oh, if anything happened to either of you, I'd never forgive myself. We can take care of ourselves. And we have that wonderful chemical spray to protect us. Oh, my. I don't think there's much left. I'll buy you another. Why not two? Oh, just in case. Good thought. 
Oh, I'm going to be late for the hairdresser. I'm seeing your young man this evening. Yes. We'd love to meet him, dear. Oh, now, Joe, why should she bring her bow to see two old biddies? I'd love you to meet Charles. Why not Sunday for tea? Oh, wonderful. Oh, this is too exciting. We can use the good silver. And the lace tablecloth. Oh, yes. Now, now, screw, screw, screw. Young lady, you must look your best for your Prince Charming. I'll bring the spray for you on Thursday. In the meantime, please be careful. Oh, don't fret, dear. We'll stay inside and feed the fish. <laughs> Polishing the silver, I'll get it. Anybody here? Coming. Hello. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, those watches, the ones I seen in the window, they run? Perfectly. They real gold? 24 carat. That one belonged to my father. That's so. How much? Well, it's worth $350, but you can have it for 200 Expensive. Our gold coins are, are more reasonable. Yeah? Well, let me show you. There we are. Now, those are double eagles, and those are commemoratives. Solid gold. Sold to the gent with the switchblade. <gasps> no noise, I'll cut your head off. Oh, don't, don't, don't hurt me. You, you can have everything. No kidding. Call your sister. Call her. Joe. Joe. Please, come here for a moment. All right. <gasps> oh, no. Stand over there. Try anything, and I'll put this in her eye. Clean out the case. That's it. Even the gold coins that we have in the back? Oh, Joseph. <laughs> them, too. Well, why did you tell him? I'm sorry. Where you got them? In, in the pantry. Go ahead. The two of you. Move it. Here. <laughs> Guess I hit the jackpot. You certainly did. Oh, my eyes. I can't breathe. Take his eyes. I'm blind. I'm blind. Club him, Joe. Club him. Wake up. Wake up, you. What's going on? You're captured. Hey. Oh, no. You won't get away. Untie me, huh? I won't bother you no more. Oh, indeed. Threaten us with a knife, will you? Oh, don't be too harsh, Aggie. Did you see the size of that blade? I demand punishment. The firing squad. Or, or the electric chair. I can't decide. Who are you talking about? How you're going to be executed. You're dippy. Hardly. Can't we use the electric chair? I love to see the body jerk. Just like modern dance. Well, all right. But only if he can have a last meal. Uh, listen, don't fool around, huh? Oh, well, of course. He must have a final meal. Just like they do on death row. Uh, you're joking. This is a gag, huh? <laughs> Not at all. I'll get the cherry cobbler. Will you take tea with it? I just want to clear out of here. That's impossible. Here we are. My specialty. I'm known for it. And the cherries are fresh, not canned. I ain't hungry. Eat it, please. Just for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Untie me. <laughs> We're not that silly. Just undo one hand, Joe. Are you left-handed or right? Come on. I'll untie the right. <laughs> Here's a fork. Now, doesn't that look nice? Homemade. It's well. Go ahead. Hmm. Good. Real good. Tastes more like almonds than cherries, though. <coughs> oh, my mouth. It's on fire. Oh, oh. Oh, I love it when they convulse. Oh, he's turning red. The cyanide worked so fast. But I don't think we can do this again. Why not? Cherries are getting too expensive. Hmm. Good point. Well, grab his legs. Mm. Time to feed the fish. Aunt Aggie? Aunt Joe? Hello? 
Hmm. Must be in the kitchen. Hello? Strange. Oh, Cherry Copper, my favorite. Just a bite. Don't touch that. <sighs> you scared me. Don't eat that. All right. What are you doing here? I brought you the tear gas spray. Aggie, I can't do this alone. You've got to help me. He's so heavy. In a minute. What is she talking about? Don't go down there. Agnes, could you please give me a hand? What are you... Who is that man? Carol! Is he dead? Go upstairs, Carol. Oh, my God. You're going to drive him. He passed away. We've got to call the police. No, dear. That would cause problems. I'll tell her. We poisoned him. Cyanide. In the cobbler. You what? He was going to rob us. Now we're disposing of the body. I'll give you a hand, dear. Yes, yes. No. More. 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 A little more. Don't. Watch, dear. It's very exciting. The piranha are starved. The piranha? Of course. You're insane. You've gone mad. Not at all. It's an eye for an eye. You can't do these things. We must. The two of you promise me you won't leave the house. Where would we go? I'll be right back. Joe, I think she's going for the police. Oh, my. That means we'll have to put our final plan into effect. Yes. We'll be ready for them when they come. Is anything wrong at the Markham house? Please, you've got to come. Please. Oh, well, sure. It's horrible. Horrible. Oh, my Lord. Their house. Oh, no. It's an inferno. Aunt Hagen. Aunt Joe. Well, we're too late. Oh, what a pity. Oh, the sweet old ladies... What a terrible way to die. But after it was all over, well, they never found their bodies, or the watches, or the coins. That tells you something, or does it? Are they, or aren't they? Only the piranha know for sure. <laughs> You're listening to KLON, Long Beach. It's a web like a spider web made of silk and night and shadow spun by the moon in my room that night. It's a web made to catch a pink. Betty Caulfield starred as Agnes and Josephine Markham. Featured in the cast were Virginia DeAria, Tom Allard, and Bill Ratner. Also heard were Joey DiAria and Bob Farley. Sound patterns by David Surtees. Darkness is produced in Hollywood by Excalibur Enterprises. Now, until next time, this is your host, Claude, wishing you good night forever. Ha, 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 ha,